Hi, my name is Ed and today I am working on a feather automaton. This is an ostrich feather, which is nice, which means it's unzipped. So if it moves around in the air, all the different pieces of the feather can move around independently. Which is awesome, but I wanted to make a machine that can make 10 of these move in an undulating pattern. So I'm gonna make an automaton. An automaton, if you don't know, is a device that usually has a crank, so that turns a dowel or some kind of rod, and that creates some animation. That could be a robot moving, it could be a waves, or here it could be an undulating feather pattern. To do this, I'm going to go into the best source of mechanical movements, which is 507 mechanical movements, which was compiled in 1868, which means it's 150 years old and still super useful. There are two movements in there that I wanted to look at. One is movement 100, and as that piece in the middle turns around and around, the arm is moving up and down creating this angular motion which is what I want the only problem is I can't drive this piece with a dowel going down the middle because that blue arm will cross over where the dowel needs to be which just doesn't work so instead I'm going to be going to movement 89 as we turn the disc in the middle and that will move the arm back and forth and up and down. This is awesome. The only problem is that out and back motion because I don't want the feathers to be moving up and down. I just want them to be going left and right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have another holder for the feather that works as a sleeve for that arm. And as it goes up and down, it'll just move inside the sleeve and only the left and right motion will move the feather. This gets us to where we want to go. And also, as we can see, we can easily stack up two or three or all off of one dowel. The first thing I want to do is be able to print the whole thing in place. I want to have that inner ring and the outer ring and the arm all printed as one piece. And the key challenge here is just getting that one disc inside the other disc. So that's the first challenge. Uh, this is 1.2, 1.5, 1.4, 0.3, 0.2. I really thought that I was gonna be done about here. So when I first printed these, I only printed these four up top. It could spin. It was still a little wiggly. So I did this group and all of them worked. I thought the 0.3 would be too close, but actually the 0.3 is pretty awesome. It spins, uh, it never needed to actually break any connection after I printed it. And there's barely any little wiggle in there. Just to be sure, I also printed the 0.2. What I figured would happen is it fused and it did fuse, so it's just kind of stuck together. Next step is to make a bigger ring uh, with a 0.3 gap and to put a spot for the dowel to go into. Checks out. There's a little bit of slippage right here between the dowel and the 3D printed piece in making an extension so that there's some threading for screws to attach it to the dowel. is in place. I have the handle on here, it's held in with the screw, with the threaded insert. We have all 11 pieces in here. We have the disc inside of the rings with the arms. On top of each of these arms, we have this feather holder, and you can just now just turn this crank and see what happens, so. <laughs> it's moving, it's moving. Everything is moving. Just the way it should. I might need a little bit more lubrication on some of these pieces, but it's all moving that the way I wanted it to. So all I need to do now is take this whole thing apart, uh, put some masking tape on the side, spray paint this black. It'll look a lot cleaner and it'll still have a window on the side that people want to see the inside motion of like what's happening.
So one of the worst parts about working on this project is hearing the word automaton so many times because automaton, like any other word for me that goes da 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 in terms of the sound, I always hear do 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 afterwards. Just like the Muppet song. Phenomena. And so every time there's any word that's like that, I always hear the do 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 right after it. So automaton, do 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 do. And even worse is the word phenomenon. Do 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 do. Phenomenon. It's awful, but that's what my brain does. Um, yeah, anyway, just waiting for the paint to dry.